Good morning students. Welcome to our online video class of chemistry. Today we are going to start new chapter P block elements. In periodic table there are four blocks of elements. What are they? S block, P block, D block and F block. In this chapter we will discuss about different characteristics and importance of P block elements. In periodic table the group 3 to 18 elements are called P block elements. It is also refers to as representative elements. Let us understand more about P block elements. Today we are going to discuss about characteristics of basic characteristics of P block elements. P block elements. In your lower class, you have studied about what are P block elements? In the periodic table, group 13 to 18 elements belongs to P block elements. The elements which belongs to 13, group 13 to 18 are P block elements. There are six groups. In this chapter, we will discuss about importance and characteristics of P block elements. Let us understand more about P block elements. The general electronic configuration of P block elements is NS2, NP126. And what does it mean? It means atoms of all those elements have completely filled as subshell. While the electrons are filled in the P subshell of the valence shell. And all those groups have specific name, mostly based on first member of each group, that is 13 group, which is the first element that is boron. It is called boron family and 14th group, which is the first element carbon and it is known as carbon family and 15th group. The first element is nitrogen. Therefore, it is called nitrogen family. And 16 group elements. 16th group elements are called oxygen family. Because oxygen is the first element. First four groups of P block elements are based on first name of the element present in each group. And the 17th group element is called halogen family. And 18th group family is called noble gases. And the elements belongs to all this group are very reactive. One exceptional case is noble gases. Noble gases are less reactive. Because for noble gases the outermost shell is completely filled. It is stable. And it have low tendency to participate in chemical reactions. So the reactivity of noble gases are very little compared to other elements of P block elements. In the periodic table, P block elements are the only block which includes all kinds of elements such as metals, metalloids and non-metals. The P block elements are also known as representative elements. The atomic or ionic radius of P block elements as it moves from left to right decreases along the pitch. This is because along the pitch, the nuclear charge increases. Nuclear charge of atom increases because electrons are added to the same outermost shell. And the atomic radius increases down the group as it moves from top to bottom. Its atomic size increases
along the group. This is because F two nuclear charge decreases down the group because electrons are added to new shells. Next one is ionization enthalpy. What is ionization enthalpy? It is the energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from a neutral gaseous atom of an element. Ionization enthalpy of p block elements increases along the period. It is increases along the period and decreases down the group. Decreases. Down the group. And ionization enthalpy of p block elements is lesser than s block elements. This is because in a p block element, the electron is removed from a p orbital, which is less penetrating than the s orbital of alkaline at the metal. Thus, removal of p orbital is comparatively easier in group thirteen elements. Next is electron affinity of p block elements. What is electron affinity? It is the energy released when an electron is added to an isolated gaseous atom in its ground state. Electron affinity of p block elements. Increases along the period. Increases along the period and decreases down the group. But there is some exceptional cases. For, For noble gases, electron affinity is zero because noble gases have octet configuration and the group 15 element show low electron affinity value due to extra stability of their half filled p orbital in the valence shell and the electron negativity electron negativity of p block elements increases along a period and decreases down the group elements of p block elements have relatively higher electronegativities and most of them are non-metallic in nature. P block elements exhibit a variety of positive and negative oxidation states. The maximum oxidation state formed by P block element which is equal to X minus 10 where X is the group number. We know that on moving down a group a lower oxidation state which is 2 units less than the highest group oxidation state is found to become more stable. This is because as atomic number increases the NS2 electron fails to participate in chemical bond formation. Hence bonds are formed only from P orbital that is the non-participating of NS orbital electron in the valence shell due to poor shielding of N-1 into D and N-2F electrons and it is known as inert pair FH. What is inert pair FH? The non-participation of NS orbital of electron in the valence shell it is due to poor shielding effect of N minus 1 D and N minus 2 into F electrons. And due to this, lower oxidation state become more stable for elements in the top of the group. For example, aluminium can form plus 3 ion, whereas the stable oxidation state of thallium is plus 1. And the lighter elements in the top of the group are non metals, while Heavier elements are metals. P block elements form ionic compounds with the
and the elements in the third period onwards can expand their valency due to the presence of empty d orbital in the same energy level which can be used for hybridization therefore the highest possible hybridization for second group period elements is sp3 the third period onwards d orbitals can be used to get the hybridization as sp3d sp3d2 etc i hope you might have understood what we learned today we learned today about some basic characteristics of p block element next class we will study about characteristics of each group in detail